Okay, so I've had a number of people asking me how to rearrange this this formula of electromagnetic induction. So remember you have this is how you write that formula. So you have the the EMF, the induced EMF, and the number of windings. Remember that negative there and always included in the formula. Then we have the change. You know, the triangle with the delta, we call it the Krieg letter delta. So it, it means it's the change in magnetic flux, all divided by the change in time, right? So essentially, we want to make this part here, the change in magnetic flux, our subject of the formula. So how do we do that? It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, it's more math than it is physics. So you want to make this the subject of the formula. So the first thing you need to understand, and I'm thinking that's um, where a lot of people struggle, um, is to, okay, let me write there, the induced EMF, all equals to. So you need to understand that this part is actually in the numerator. It's actually in the numerator. So in the equation, you see it's written right there at the front of this um, fraction. So this is a mixed fraction if you look at it, but you need to understand that this part is actually in the numerator. So it's a matter of just rewriting it. So you say rewrite this negative n, right? And then the change in the magnetic flux. My handwriting is terrible, but I'm thinking you can follow. Then all of it is just over a change in t, right? And then the next step from here is to recognize that I can write um, the thing on the left hand side. I can just say it, that the letter that is the Greek letter epsilon that induced EMF, that funny looking E letter is the Greek letter epsilon. So you can I can just write it as um, epsilon over one, which any value when you divide it by one is that value, right? And then on this side, let me just we write the same thing so you still have negative um, n multiply by um, the change in magnetic flux and all of it divided by a change in t so the triangle that click letter um, it's this triangle is a click letter delta and you say it's a change right and then from here it's very simple you just need to cross multiply so you need to multiply the one by the negative n multiplied by the change in magnetic flux, right? So let's do that. So it's going to be 1 multiply, and then I can just put this in bracket. You see, negative n um, multiplied then by the change in the magnetic flux, right? So there you are, and then you say that whole thing is now equals to. I also multiply the the epsilon there with the change in time. You see, so you, hence we say you cross multiply. So it's going to be that induced EMF multiply by the change in t. And then when you here you can say you know any value when you multiply by one is that value. So it means on this side, you're just going to be left with a change in negative n multiplied by our change in magnetic flux, right? And on this side, it's just going to be that epsilon, which is our induced EMF, multiplied by the change in t. And I'm thinking from here on, you can actually see what's happening. So I need to make the change in magnetic flux the subject and this is a multiplication it means i just need to divide on both sides by a negative n so that's the number of windings right negative n is that law where what you do on the left hand side you must also do on the right hand side so i need to divide both sides of the equation by the negative n there and if you negative n divided by negative n it's one so it means um, can essentially say the negative n would cancel each other, then you are actually now left with the change in the magnetic flux, and all of it is now equals to the induced EMF 
represented by the letter Greek letter epsilon, multiply by the change in t, and the whole thing divided by a negative n. And now you have all the values given. You have your induced EMF, you have the change in time, the number of windings. You can essentially solve for that change in, in magnetic flux. So that's how you essentially go about rearranging this formula. Um, you can also try, um, just as an activity to yourself, try to see if you can make this the subject of the formula, the change in time. It's a very important skill for you to rearrange equations. Um, you know, so yeah, I hope that is clear and yeah, thank you for watching.